What's up guys and welcome. You are watching Fancy Fitness. So let's start this video with the update of the Persian Wolf Hadi Chopan. So the man isn't rebounding from a contest. He competed months ago, that was back in March. And he has actually done an off-season afterwards. But I think we can all agree, only Hadi Chopan can look so shredded. Front to back, top to bottom and that too up to a point. That he looks so damn vascular. And he actually has feathers on his quads this far out of the show. And just take a look at that caption. Now, he did not mention Derek Lansford. But I think we can all figure out that this was directed towards Derek. As he's the one on the top now. He's the one that Hadi Chopin is chasing. And also keep in mind, this video was taken 10 weeks out of the show. And we are now less than 9 weeks out. So Hadi must be looking a lot better and a lot more impressive than this. I think we can all agree that Hadi Chopin is one of the most hardcore bodybuilders especially in the current circuit of bodybuilding and the man means all business and actually for the very first time the former olympia champion has a legitimate shot at winning back his olympia title because even back when jay cutler won it back no one actually thought that jay cutler would win back his title so brandon Carey in 2021 he wasn't in a strong position to beat a guy like big rami but the thing is big rami did leave the door open and brandon really pushed him extremely hard but still, that wasn't enough to take back his Olympia crown. But at this point, going into this year's Miss Olympia, I think we can all agree that Derek needs to make some serious adjustments, some massive improvements in order to stop Hadi Chopin from winning this year. I think we are most probably going to witness the best Hadi Chopin in about 9 weeks time at this upcoming Miss Olympia in October. Next up, we have an update of Stefan, the winner of Portugal Pro. The guy who is going to be making a big statement at this year's Miss Olympia, which is going to be his Olympia debut. Now, he was qualified for the Olympia last year as well, but because of some family emergency, he did not compete. So the roundness that this guy has, especially when he isn't all depleted and dehydrated, that is so cartoonish. Probably one of the most cartoonish looking proportions out there, especially in classic. So Stefan won Portugal Pro just a few weeks ago. And from his update, you can see that he hasn't been slacking on his diet or on his training even a little bit. And truthfully, he cannot afford to do that. And Stefan, we all know, goes through a lot of suffering in that weight making process. And we actually saw that happen before this year's Portugal Pro as well. And is another one of those guys in Classic who cannot rebound big, especially when the Olympia is only 9 weeks away. So he has a very legitimate shot at cracking at least top 10 at his Olympia debut. Because the thing is, he was able to beat Wahid Badepi. And that too very convincingly in Portugal. And Wahid was top 10 at last year's Miss Olympia. So for him to challenge some of those top guys, I am talking about guys in the top 6. He needs to have more back. He needs to have more weight. But I'm not sure how much improvements he can make. Especially with the weight cap hanging over his head. And also in such a short period of time. So the combination of him and his coach Patrick. That was phenomenal. It was easily the best version of Stefan, and they will try to beat that package at this year's Miss Olympia. So the question is, will he ever switch to the men's open bodybuilding? The division where he would actually compete, if there was no classic physique. A division where he can truly grow, really get bigger. Maybe one day he will, but for now, the focus is classic. Next up, we have a physique update of William Martins, six weeks out of his next show. So either he's going to be competing at UK Pro or the Legion Sports. So William Martins did do Legion Sports last year as well. But it wasn't a showing that is worth mentioning. And he himself wasn't proud of that either. So before that show, he went over 340 pounds in the offseason while he was working with Chad Nichols. But he ended up far off on the stage. And the thing is, when you have such a glaring weakness, your midsection having a wide waistline, which ruins all of your front shots, and you are prone to losing all of the front shots against all of the top competition. You cannot afford to come in off even by a little bit. Because even if you are absolutely shredded, the margin of error, that is almost zero. And that is why the judges penalized him and placed him 11th at that show. So he did compete this year once at the Arnold Brazil. But that was a very tough lineup for him. Especially with the top three guys. Rafael Brandao, Gurvito and Tony Burton. Very static, very beautiful physiques. And all three of them were able to beat William Martins and that too quite comfortably. So William does have some great body parts. For instance, his side shot is absolutely nuts. His most muscular is also a very impressive shot. 
But the thing is, he needs to do something about his waist in order to win his first pro show and get to the Olympia stage. Next up, we have a 5 weeks out physique update, actually less than 5 weeks out, of the biggest freak of nature right now, the Mass Monster. One of the most exciting talents that we saw this year, Rubel Mosquera, aka Nexilla. So the rumors were true that it's gonna leave Oxygen Gym Kuwait after this year's Dubai Pro. So it was pretty determined that Rubel Mosquera will part ways with Ahmad Asker, the guy who was coaching him for Dubai Pro. And he is gonna go back to his former coach, Francesco Aspen, the guy who prepped him for this year's Prague. So he's back with him, working for this year's Italy Pro. And I think that is a good combination for Rubel. Because speaking in terms of conditioning perspective, Rubel was actually better at Prague compared to what we saw at this year's Dubai Pro. Although his aesthetics did improve, his posing and his presentations also improved. But from conditioning standpoint, he was still lacking. And that is probably one of the reasons why Rubel was even unable to dominate that side chest shot and even side triceps, which were his strongest shots. Now keep in mind, both these guys, Rubel Mosquera and Angel Calderon, they competed in different divisions in Dubai. So Rubel is absolutely dwarfing Angel in size, which is no surprise for any of us. This guy can dwarf even the men's open guys, and Angel is a 212 bodybuilder. But just look at the difference in quad separation between these two guys. So Angel looks way more conditioned, and because he has more separation, even in his upper half, Angel is exposing the lack of conditioning on Rubel. So Italy Pro is now about 4 weeks away, so Rubel has to pick up the pace, especially if he wants to have a go at a guy like Hunter Lebrano, who is the favorite to win that show. So what do you guys think? Can Rubel come close to Hunter's level of conditioning in 4 weeks time? Lastly, we have a 9 weeks out physique update of William Bonac. Honestly, the package that he brought at this year's Dubai Pro, that was so damn good, extremely impressive, and he did beat Barrow Stabani in some shots. And that way we can easily make a case for William Bonac to crack top 10 at what could possibly be his last Miss Olympia. So Stefan, his current coach, he has done wonders with William's physique. So there isn't anything anyone can do about his waistline. That has definitely gotten a lot wider, especially in comparison to his prime. But his quads look much better than what was expected from him, especially at this stage of his career. So William Bonag made his Olympia debut 10 years ago, and he placed 16th. So it has been such a great professional career for William. Two Arnold Classic titles, multiple top placings at Miss Olympia, and is still beating guys like Nathan Diesha, Evan Barros Tabani, and with all the prize money going up this year, William Bonag might rethink his decision of retirement. Because even with him placing second at the Way Pro, he was able to win relatively good amount of money, forty grand to be precise. So will William Bonag finish in the top ten at this year's Miss Olympia? Do let me know what you guys think, and also hit the thumbs up button if you liked the video. And smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.